Today's video is going to be on the Detectron DS277 Gamma Scintillator. I bought this probably about four or five years ago. It was pretty crusty when I got it. Apparently it was in somebody's basement for the last 65 years and unfortunately the batteries were even left in it. And uh, so obviously uh, there was a lot of corrosion in the battery compartment, but not a big deal. I had some extra sheet metal around so I was able to uh, put some things together and kind of get it back in operational condition. Quick little history on this is these were used for uranium prospecting back in the uranium boom area, probably around 1954, 1955. Um, these were a lot more sensitive than Geiger counters because it uses scintillation-based uh, detector technology, which is considerably more sensitive than a regular uh, Geiger counter. Um, these old units typically use 67.5-volt um, batteries as well as 22.5-volt uh, uh, photoflash-type batteries and a couple of D-cells for the filaments because these are uh, tube-based uh, electronics. Uh, they don't have any transistors in them. So you can see it's kind of clicking away here right now. And towards the uh, front of the detector, you can see this little red dot right there. That is the uh, front of the detection tube. So what I've got... Sitting over here is a radium check source from another Geiger counter, or I should say from a Geiger counter, not a scintillator, but it will suffice for what I'm going to use it for. It's a very low grade check source, um, way less than a uh, radium type wristwatch or a clock would put out. But anyway, so it's right now registering normal background levels at the uh, 0.025 uh, millirentian per hour scale. So let's go ahead and drop this down to the 0.05 scale. Drop it down a little bit. And actually, I haven't even touched up the calibration on this thing in probably about two years. So it it's definitely going to be off a little bit. But just for uh, demonstration purposes, we'll go ahead and put this right there. You can see it's pretty reactive to the uh, small source I've got. It's got six ranges, 0.025 all the way down to uh, five millirentians per hour. Time response, calibrate and zero adjust. Very, very basic. So let's go ahead and look at the inside and I'll kind of show you what I've done to get this thing going. Okay, so here it is opened up and this is the left side componentry. And um, what you're looking at here on the bottom is the RCA 6199 foldable multiplier tube. And you can see that uh, it's been since refurbished. I put this sticker on it uh, the 4th of November 2017. And um, it puts out, using a Ludlum 2221 rate meter for testing purposes, 1,800 counts per minute normal background. Um, at its uh, recommended voltage level of 900 volts. Uh, the crystal that was originally with this had water damage, required refurbishing, which I did, and it's uh, since been reattached after I uh, resurfaced the sodium iodide crystal. There's a special process for doing that, and um, I can make a video on that a little bit later on, but it's not something that doesn't have some major safety issues and um, uh, hazmat concerns. So it's not something for anybody to attempt unless they're knowledgeable of this. It had a couple of capacitors that were bad. You can see those are replaced here. There's an orange and a yellow. And uh, But other than that, it was pretty okay on this side. This strap that is holding the bottom of the fold multiplier in place was completely corroded and had to be replaced. So that is the new replacement strap. The two switches here are for the uh, upgraded power supply that I uh, installed because 67.5 volt batteries and the 22.5 volt batteries are extremely difficult to come by these days. And if you do find them, uh, they're extremely expensive. So this just operates off of normal 9 volt batteries and uh, a couple of D cells. So let's go ahead and flip this on the other side and I'll kind of show you how the battery packs are arranged. Okay, so here's the battery side. And so 
the 67.5 volt source is for the 900 volt B plus uh, voltage. And that is controlled or powered by these two nine volt batteries here that have their own individual on off switches. And inside this section here is a, uh, a voltage boost module that uh, bumps the voltage up to 67.5. And the two D cells are for the filament voltage for the subminiature tubes that this operates off of. And these two uh, nine volt batteries here are powering the uh, 22.5 volt modules. There's two of them, one here and one there, because this does require two separate 22.5 volt sources. Okay, so that is the overview of the Detectron DS277 Gamma Scintillator, first introduced approximately mid-year 1955.